Hello, my name is Yonis Dizel, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to take a step further. We are going now to secure our PHP by admin. In the previous video tutorial, we learned how to actually install Zamp and how to basically access the PHP my admin. Let's get into PHP my admin. Let's make this section secure. By default, it is not secure. So if we click on the logout button here, we will be able to log out. So in order to actually configure this, before we actually go ahead with that, we need to go to the user accounts and we need to create a new user. Add user account. For the user account, I'm just going to put my name. So you can put any name you like. And for the password, I'm going to actually type a password. Let's put... Uh, we have September, September 2024, an exclamation mark. So September 2024, an exclamation mark. I'm going to type the same thing here, capital S, September 2024, exclamation mark. So now we have a strong password. It is important for you to make sure that you, you remember this password. So you can write it down somewhere or you can actually generate the password if you wish. And then copy this password and put this password to a safe place. For the meantime, I'm just going to create a new notepad document. And I'm just going to paste my password there for safekeeping. And I'm just going to save this onto my desktop. I'm just going to save it test1. So I know what test one means. So you might want to not give too many clues of the fact that this is a password and don't let other people know what this password represents. This is only for your for your own uh, information. Okay, let's make this a bit smaller because we're going to be using this in a minute. So make sure you save this. Now we have generated the password. We are going to select all the data, all the structure, all the administrators, and we're going to basically, or oh, you can just click here to check all. And we are now click, going to click go. Okay, so now we have created a user. We, won't, we still won't be able to log out. So let's go to PHP my admin. So let's go to the, this PC, C drive. We're going to go to Zamp, and then we're going to find the PHP my admin somewhere here. There it is. Then we need to find, locate the config.inc.php. We're going to right click and edit the notepad. Let's maximize this window. As you can see here, this section here says config. We need to change the config to cookie. So for the meantime, I'm just going to highlight this line, copy this line. Enter and paste this line. I'm just going to comment it out. So in the future, any change you make on the PHPMyAdmin, admin, it is advisory to basically keep the line of code prior to the change that you're going to make. So I'm just going to change that to cookies. Okay. And I'm going to go to file and select save. Now if I minimize this and go here and click on the exit, I will be able to actually see that the user need to actually add now uh, the username and the password. So because I save the username and the password before, it's easier for me to log on. Let's have a look. Let's go not that one. Let's go back to my desktop where I save my password. I'm going to copy my password. Let's put this password here, click login, and I can actually update this. So now, as you can see, I, have, I can log on. Now, the problem we have is phpMyAdmin still is not secure. Why? Because if I actually go here, the default username for the administrator is root, and the password is empty, which means if I click login now, I will still be able to access the phpMyAdmin. So in this case, we need to go to user accounts. 
but we need to basically go to the uh, root uh, usernames, so for localhost or for the IP address. So let's start with that one here, edit privileges. And we're going to change the password. And I'm just going to put the same password as I had before. Oops. Again, it's advisory. If you do this professionally, you need to make sure that you have different passwords for different users. And then click go. Okay. Then we're going to go to user accounts. Go to the next one, which is root. Change the password. And again, click go. Then go to the next one. Edit privileges. Change the password. Then click go. So now, if I go here and I click root, I won't be able to log on now. Let's put the password. As you can see, I can log on. Okay, if we go to user accounts, I can see that I've got another account here, PMA, which is the usage. Now, for the usage, we don't need to put a uh, password because if we go to edit privileges, the usage don't have any many uh, privileges here. And it's ideal for us to actually, through a uh, different script, to be able to see some of the data but won't be able to manipulate the data. So we save now. Let's create a first table. Now there's multiple different ways to create, uh, two different ways to create a table by using uh, phpMyAdmin. One way is by using a user-friendly interface. So you can click on new. And I'll create a database. I'm just going to call my database test1. Uh, select create. And now with my test one database selected, I can create my first table. So I can call it users. Let's leave four fields. You can put five fields if you want or less. You can put three fields, it's up to you. Let's put four fields for now. Let's select create. The first field, it's gonna be the ID field. It's gonna be integer, it's gonna be whole number. The length, we're going to specify to nine characters. Here, for the default, I'm going to select uh, as defined, or I can actually leave this as it is, none. But I'm going to make sure that the user will know that null values. I'm going to drop down the list for the index. I'm going to select primary key, and then I'm going to click go. I'm going to set it up to auto, to auto increment as well, so automatically will increase the number. Next. We are going to put name, let's put user. Now the user, let's put username. The username will be Varchar. Let's make 125 characters. The next one is going to be password. Varchar again, 250 characters. And the next one will be date. For the date, we're going to put, uh, let's put, uh, let's go to date, well, let's put timestamp. And we're going to define a current timestamp. Okay, so now I'm going to click save. And I have now created my record, so if I, sorry, my table. So if I go to uh, users table now and select insert, we'll be able to put the first username. So I'm just going to put uh, Yanis, and the password will be 1234. And the second uh, record will be my keys. Now I'm going to put 321. Let's add some more uh, ro rows. So the next one will be Anna. And I will say 564. In fact, to remember that, I'm just going to put 111-222-333. So you can add more records if you like. So once you're happy with the records, you can click Go. 
and as you can see now I have successfully added uh, three records now you can also add records by using SQL so this is the SQL command here I'm just gonna copy this Just going to control C to copy. So if I go to SQL, I can con highlight this and control it to paste. So I'm going to insert into users ID, username, and password, and the date. So instead of Yanis, I'm just going to put here uh, uh, David. Uh, I'm just going to put make this 444. Here, instead of my case, I'm going to put, uh, let's say, for instance, Vicky. I'm going to make it 555. And here, I'm going to put this uh, uh, Chris. I'm going to make this 666. Let's put 665. Let's not put the dodgy number there. So just in case you're super, superstitious uh, so if I highlight this record now can you see here if I highlight this section here with a comma control C to copy and I can actually paste it right uh, right oops here and I can put more values so I'm gonna put this uh, there uh, Nick it's gonna make it 777 and I can control V to paste, I can put uh, Jack, I can put 888, and so on and so forth. As you can see, if I actually put the records uh, based on SQL structure, it's going to be a lot quicker for me. So if I click Go, I've just added five records very quickly. So if I click on Users now, I can actually see my users, and I can see the timestamp as well. So automatically, I know the exact time these uh, users have been, the, the records for this, these users have been created. So this is how you basically secure in PHP My Admin, and this is how you create in a database table, and this is how you add in records. In the next video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a PHP script in order to actually access, insert more records. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.